Hello, cheapskaters. For the next four weeks, Wednesday is going to be spring cleaning day. We spring clean our homes to get rid of the dust and the mustiness of winter. And we should do the same thing with our finances. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If you're new to our channel, welcome. You've found us at a great time, spring cleaning time. Our finances pretty much rule our lives. Now, it's nice to think we can live without money, but the reality is very different. We need something to use as currency, and for most of us, money, in whatever form it takes, is it. Now, I'm spreading this series over the next four weeks because there's a bit of work to be done, and it takes time. We're all busy. We're all really busy. So being able to spread each part of our financial spring clean over a week makes it so much easier to do. Now, trust me, I've done this a few times and we as a couple do it every year. I don't ask you to do anything that I haven't or I won't do myself. Okay, week one, knowing your expenses. It's not rocket science. We need to know our expenses. To know exactly where your money is going, we are going to go back to basics, right back to basics. This week, you get your spending plan, a notebook, a pen, all your bills, all your receipts, and you're going to track your spending. Now, I know that there are those of you who find tracking spending boring, you find it hard, you find it wastes a lot of time. That's because you're making it too difficult. It should only take you a couple of seconds every time you spend some money to make a note of it. Or a minute or two every afternoon or every evening after dinner to update. Because you have a working spending plan, a week is long enough to give you a snapshot. And that's all we're after this week is a snapshot of exactly where your money is going and what it is going on. We want to know whether it's going where it should be or whether it's not. So how do you track your expenses? Well, like I said, go back to basics. There are a lot of ways you could do this. For the purpose of this exercise, seeing it's it's only a week, choose the easiest method that works for you. Now, it might be a notepad and pen. It could be a spreadsheet on your computer, um, even one of the gazillion apps that are available on your phone or tablet. Personally, I just use my diary and I jot down each day spending after tea. Now, to make tracking expenses even easier for you, just in case you don't want to do any of those things, I've created a printable expense tracker and you can download it and use it. I'll put the link to it below and you can just click the link, download and away you go tracking your expenses. Start with the receipts that you currently have. Go through your purse, go through your handbag, go through your wallet, your backpack, the fruit bowl, check your bedside table, the console in the car, the um, kitchen drawer, your desk, anywhere you might stash receipts. Find as many as you can and then write the details into your expense tracker. Now, the Cheapskates Expense Tracker has common co categories, sorry, common categories, that's a bit of a tongue twister, that you can use. Jot down the date, the item, how you paid for that item. This is sort of important, whether it was cash with your credit card or debit card, direct deposit, VPay, that sort of thing. And then put the amount in the spending plan category it comes under. Now, you'll see on the expense tracker that it has a category for other. We all have one-off odd expenses that don't really fit anywhere within our spending plan. They're the expenses that you put in the other column. <laughs> now, a week of tracking won't necessarily be a complete picture of your spending, 
but it is going to give you enough detail to determine if your spending plan is working and where you need to tweak. Remember, this is just a spring clean of your finances. If a receipt falls under two or more categories, for example, um, medication, you might have a receipt that's got medication, pet food and milk on it. So you've got three different categories there. Write the total, how you paid for it, and then just put the total of each item in those categories, in their respective categories. Easy. <clears throat> now, for the things that you buy or spend money on that don't have a receipt, um, your mortgage payments, for instance, because they come from your bank, write these in every time you make a payment so that you've got the record and you don't forget to track them because you need to track them too. It's all your spending. You're tracking all your spending, the power bills, the water bills, the school fees, the tuck shop money, the late library fees if you have them, I hope you don't, that sort of thing too. As you track your spending this week, chances are you might find some surprising habits that you haven't even realised you have. You could be wondering why your grocery bill just won't fit in the $300 a month food challenge. It can, trust me. But then when you look at it, you realise just how much you're really spending at the supermarket on incidentals, which are things that you don't really need or you don't really want. You just buy them. It may be the odd coffee now and then that's breaking your budget little things because all those little expenses add up to quite a lot. Tracking your expenses shows you exactly where you're spending your money and how you're spending it. Use this week to record how much you spend and what you spend it on because next week we're going to use this information to review your spending plan. We'll go back over it and make sure your spending plan is working for you. So to regroup, recap, regroup. Week one is going to be interesting, so get to it. Track those expenses and know keeping track in your memory doesn't count. We all know that no matter how good our memory is, something will always be forgotten. Get that pen and paper or that app or whatever you choose to use and record every single cent you spend. And have fun. This isn't meant to be an arduous chore, just a simple exercise to get your financial spring clean started. Now, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I read every comment and I do my best to answer every question. Before I go, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please click that subscribe button, then the little bell next to it and choose how often you want to be notified of new videos we put up. And don't forget to like us, just click that thumbs up and share this video, just click the share button to help us spread the word that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it is absolutely possible, even in today's crazy world. I'll be back next week with part two of our financial spring clean, so I'll see you then. Have a great week tracking your expenses.